in this video we are going to do a Super 8 effect here in Premiere Pro. You will need some assets for this video and there is a link down in the description for a file that you can download if you want to follow along. But getting started we have here in our timeline a video clip. We're going to go over here take our damage which is part of the assets place that on top of the video clip. We're going to cut that down to size click on that we're going to set it to frame size, click on it again. We're going to go up to our effect control panel. Here under blend mode, we're going to take that to screen. Now it doesn't appear that it's done anything, but let's play it through and see what it looks like. So as you can see here, this is going to make it appear as if the film is somewhat aged and damaged. That's the purpose of that. For the next step, we're going to take this film burn. We're going to put that on top of the clip. I'm going to right click on it, get rid of that audio because we don't need that. So just on link, click here, delete. I go here to the end, hit C to bring up my razor tool, hit V, click on that, delete. Again, go up to effect controls here under opacity, blend mode. That too, we're going to take it to screen. Now playing through it, this is what it will look like. The next thing we're going to do is add our Super 8 overlay. And so again, just place that on top. We're going to go here to the end, cut it, delete. Again, we don't need that audio, so I'm just going to unlink it. Again, we're going to set to frame size. This time we're going to go back up to effect controls. Again, blend mode under opacity. We're going to darken. So let's play that through now and see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, not everybody is in frame, so we can highlight that. change the position if we want bring their faces into frame you may have to do this with your clip now it's already looking quite retro but we are not done yet so next we're going to go over here to our Lumetri color panel we're going to take the contrast down a little bit take those shadows down Let's take the whites down. Let's raise the blacks up. We're then going to lower our saturation. Playing through it, this is what it will look like. We're also going to go down here to color wheels. Click on that. Go to your midtones and let's add some green to it. These tend to have a lot of green to them. Playing through it, it will look like this. Now we're going to add a bit of noise to this to, to make it a little more grainy. So go over to your effects, type in noise. We're going to take that noise and put it on that bottom clip. We're then going to go up to effect controls here under noise. Take it up to 20 and this is what it will look like. Now you can probably see that noise there. If you can't, let's go ahead and make this larger. Now you can see the grain and the noise in the photo pretty well. We'll take it back down. From here, we're gonna go back over to our effect panel and we are going to type in Gaussian Blur. Take that Gaussian Blur effect and put it on that bottom clip Go back up to your effect control panel here under blurriness. Let's change that to five. So let's play it through and give it a quick look. Next, we're going to go back over to effects. Here under video effects, under distort, we will find offset. We're going to put that on the video clip. So now that we have the offset here on the clip, we're going to go back up to effect controls. 
Here under Offset, click on that stopwatch to set a keyframe. We're then going to change the position of this just a little bit. Move our timeline indicator over a little bit. Click back to set another keyframe. Move it forward. Click back again, set a third keyframe. We're then going to move forward in our timeline somewhere, set a keyframe. Move forward on your timeline, set a keyframe. Move that forward a little bit more. Set another keyframe. Let's move this up this time. Move forward just a little bit more. We're going to click the reset parameter and that will set our third keyframe. Now when you play your video clip through, it should look something like this. For the last effect, right before we finish, we're going to put a posterized time effect on this clip. So go over here, under video effects, under time, posterized time, you're going to place that on that bottom clip. Up here in your effect control panel, here under posterized time frame rate, you're going to change that to 18. And so that is 18 frames a second. And the reason we're changing this to 18 frames a second is that is traditionally what Super 8 was shot in. For the very last part, we're going to add the Super 8 audio to the clip right down here. Now this audio is included in the pack down in the description. So at the end of this video, you should have created something that looked very much like this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future Premiere Pro tutorials.